This is a typical primary school in Helsinki with around 200 children. The pupils are starting their Finnish lesson and the focus today is on longhand and cursive handwriting. Though cursive writing is extremely difficult for some, many seem to like it. I like it because it's beautiful. And it's a real challenge. I like cursive writing because it's beautiful. And I'll be able to read what mum and dad write. A year from now, these children won't have to bother getting the different curves right, as longhand will disappear from the curriculum. The biggest factor on why this decision has been taken is time, with a growing list of topics in Finnish language lessons, including keyboard and new media skills, there simply isn't enough time to teach cursive writing. It's frustrating for the teacher because there's not enough time for everything. In learning to write, it's not enough just to teach. The kids also need time to practice their writing skills. Cursive writing is taught in the second year of primary school. Studies show that most pupils in their higher grades either haven't learned cursive writing or go back to printing when allowed to choose. Another important aspect is digitalization. Children are surrounded by media that requires other skills. They still read and write, but the texts are different and shorter. And there's another approach to the writing process. We won't burden pupils by teaching two ways of writing. As soon as they've learned the print letters, they can start writing longer texts. When it comes to typing on the computer, we will have more time to teach the writing process and polish the content. Teachers still have the freedom to teach cursive writing if they wish. But with many new subjects now part of the curriculum, it's becoming less of a priority.